Hi, it's your coach Joe Lucas. Hey, happy Thursday. Hope you're doing well. And uh, the sun just came up here in uh, beautiful Melbourne, Florida. Watched it uh, come up over the uh, Indian River here. And uh, I'm looking forward for a great Thursday, and I hope you are too. Let's talk a little bit. You know, I was thinking this morning, I got up uh, a couple hours ago, way before sunrise, uh, getting ready for my day. And, you know, I was thinking about, hey, what's I going to share with you guys this morning? And what I thought about was, let's talk about the difference between active and passive. Now, I know for a lot of you, when I say active and passive, you go, oh man, is he gonna, is he gonna talk about investing in portfolio management and, and you know, no, 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 you know, I'm not a CFA, I don't play with that space. To me, what active and passive means is how you approach your business, how you approach marketing, how do you approach business development? Do you have an active style or do you have a passive style? So what's an active style? So an active style is, hey, you know what? You're, at, you're, you're promoting referrals. You're reminding clients you're available, right? You're, you're very intentional about looking for outside assets. You're running optimization. We do, you know, we have either through ourselves or through our business partners, we can do financial planning, asset management, insurance. We facilitate the estate planning, tax, tax returns if necessary, lending, right? So we're very active there. We're also active in going out and connecting with our clients, other advisors. So their CPAs, their attorneys, uh, their property and casualty people, you know, we're looking to form that lifelong, long-term network of referrals and quite frankly, strategic partners. We're out there, right? We're also out there actively looking for strategic business opportunities, right? So we're looking for advisors who, you know, have gotten to the point in their career where they're ready to transition uh, to more retirement, or they want to at least sell a segment of their business and, and retain some because they want to just slow it down a little bit. You know, we're, we're pursuing those opportunities. Active also means you're pursuing talent. You're always looking, if you're, if you're gonna run, unless you're running a lifestyle model, if you're running an enterprise or ensemble model, right, you're gonna be looking for talent, remember, the three things every business needs in our industry to grow. The psychology of the leader, i.e. you. Talent, i.e. who you attract. Systems, what you build. Three things, right? You gotta have them all, not two out of three, not one out of three, all three, right? So are you, are you active in seeking those out? Next, are you active in seeking solutions? Are you active in making yourself better? Are you active in taking care of your body? Do you really have that active style? Now, what's passive look like? Well, the exact opposite, right? Hey, I hope shit happens, right? I hope I get some referrals. Where am I gonna get business? How do I make my month happen, right? All that, all that stuff, right? You're, you're, you, you feel like, man, you're just hoping and, and you hope you get some luck. And you're just, you know, you're, you're almost like a victim. You almost operate in scarcity. You have this very passive style, right? And, and look, for some people in this industry, it's interesting. And I run across this and it's, What's really, and here's, I'm not gonna say this is an absolute correlation, but I see it, it's common. The, the more educated somebody is in this business, sometimes, right? So you have your MBA, you've got your CFP, maybe you've got your CFA, and you've got another, several different acronyms after your name, after your title, right? And you may have a belief that says, well, you know, I'm the smartest guy in the room, or the smartest person in the room, at least I think so. So people should come to me, because I'm a bright guy. Those are the ones that have such a frustrating career because what they don't realize is, yes, that's great. But in addition to that, what you need is an active style of business. Active people also, active style. Hey man, we're up early. We go after it. You know, I got up today at 5.15, did what I need to do, got ready. You know, here it is, right? Here's my, uh, here's my latte, watching the sun come up. I'm gonna do that, I wanna hang out, I'm gonna do some reading in a few minutes, and uh, I'll be back in my office by 7.15, I'm ready to roll. Now, 90 minutes, right, in the morning. What time do you get up? What do you do at that time? I have no idea, I haven't even looked at the news yet. I have no idea what's going on in the world. I don't care. I gotta take care of what I need to take care of. My business, my clients, my family, things that matter here that I have direct control over. That's an active style. Passive, oh man, look what's going on, victim.
you know, you're in, you're in the boat going down the river. I got a beautiful river here, actually two. And you know what? Hey, no wars in the water, no rudder. Shit, I hope it works. Hope I don't crash. Hope I don't drown. You know what we do? We're rowing, man. This is what we do. Make a decision. It's never too late. Look, I know the average in the average age of our industry is 58 years old. 50, it depends on who's who's pro, who's uh, report you look at, right? I don't care if you're 65, 70 years old. You still have 100% of your career left. Do something with it. Don't just give up. And if you're going to be around for a while, be excellent. Be active. See you soon.